Hi, it's Kelly here, and we have less than 12 hours to, to implement this in order to have an effect on the dahlia. If you do it one second before it hits the shore, you will have sent frequencies to it seven times in one second. So it has an impact whenever you can get to it. Obviously, the sooner you can do this, the better, because it starts working instantly. And here's where we're at. Although the storm has increased a tremendous amount, it is actually five miles slower per hour than what was predicted 24 hours ago, or excuse me, 12 hours ago. So we're actually having an impact, and, and five miles an hour is huge because a five mile reduction in a hurricane's speed can reduce the cost in half. Of the amount of destruction. So if, if this hurricane in today's cost could easily be $50 billion, easily, considering how many cities it's going to be hitting. So if we can cut that in half, imagine how many lives we save, because the reason we're saving lives is that trees don't fall on houses as often. So you could save a life. You could save somebody's livelihood. You could save their child. You could save all kinds of things, you know, their car, um, the a, a destruction of a, you know, of a community, even. Uh, I've been through a hurricane. I know, I have, a, have an idea of what, what it's like. So I've been through Hurricane Michael in Panama City, right there, about ground zero. And because of what I did then, with the discs that I had, we were able to reduce the storm on my block so that nobody lost their roof. Even though my neighbor said that um, it, the, the roofs would not survive a three. So based on that assessment, we could say that it, we brought it down from a five to a two uh, in our, on our block. And there's, with, I think, about over 30, maybe 50, I don't know quite a few uh, apartments, duplexes, and probably 50. And um, so that's a lot of lives that we, that we saved. Someone could have been killed, uh, you know, 50. Uh, in the other two apartment complexes, you know, I'm disabled, so I live in a housing authority complex. Um, they had identical roofs. They had 100% evictions. It was about 150 people all together between the two locations. So it makes a huge, huge difference in people's lives. They lost, they lost their, their family albums. They lost their computers. They lost, you know, they might have lost their pets, all kinds of things. So it's vitally important. And I'm going to share with you some various ways to do this on a poor man's budget. If you have copper, I've already explained how you can f how you can bend it in half, and then gently put it in a a drill. Put the looped end into the drill, and I'll ho hold it with the pliers, and this will gently turn it. Uh, do it gently. You don't want it to turn too much, otherwise it gets kinked up. So you can put those on ceiling fans. Just tape them right on top. Uh, put the put the open end pointed outward. Um, you can put them on record players. Uh, you can, if you have a regular fan, you can take a piece of thin cardboard, say, like a shoebox, that kind of thin cardboard. And any size is good. The bigger the better that it will fit inside the fan is fine. You can leave it square or you can round it off, you know, if it's, if it, if it's getting too big. Take some Elmer's glue or whatever and wipe it all over the surface. First, oh, first you put a hole in the center Fold it in half, fold it in half again, that way you'll get a point. You, you know, it'd be a triangle. And uh, cut, cut it off just a little bit, uh, you know, not even a, you know, a quarter inch, I think, would be more than enough. And uh, that way you'll get it right in the center, because if you're folding it directly in half both ways, it'll do it. Otherwise, take a ruler, measure diagonally both ways, and draw lines. and, and and uh, make the hole right where the center is on that. 
and you're going to need nine millimeters, which is, um, see, it's about a tenth of an inch. Ten millimeters is a tenth of an inch. So uh, that's all you need. And then you're going to put the glue on it, your Elmer's glue. And if you if you have uh, copper shavings of any sort, you can put them on there. If you have if you have crystal shape uh, dust, put those on there. Um, and, and you can use that. So those of you who do organite, that's, you, you probably have a lot of uh, copper shavings and you, you might have crystals or crystal dust. So you can glue them on. The, the, the dust is the easiest to work with. Uh, or, uh, and let it dry for however long, whatever it says on the, the bottle and add twice as much time because it's gonna be moving. Um, it's thin, thin is better than thick with glue because it, the thicker it is, the harder it is to get, to, to, to get hard on the inside. Um, so, oh, with the, with the cardboard, if you have it, take either packing tape or heavy metal tape or whatever and uh, put it across there, poke a hole, and you've already got it creased, right, from folding. So fold it again and then cut it so that you have quarters and you can wrap that around you know, the tape so it's sticky on there and that way it'll last longer on the fan. But for tonight, don't worry about that. We just need to get through the night until this thing hits tomorrow morning, estimated around seven, eight o'clock. So, so that's how you make a poor man's, a poor man's uh, 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 lifesaver. You know, you're gonna save a billion, you could save a billion dollars with that. Because right now, we've had an increase, a tremendous increase in the amount of uh, wind shear, but it's so wet around such a large area that it's having a, a, um, only a minimal impact. But it, so five miles an hour, five miles is could be twenty-five billion dollars. It could be fifty billion dollars. So, <clears throat> and you're when you turn it on, it starts working immediately. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you just let it go. Just let it go. Um, and, and this will do wonders for a lot of people that you don't know, but it'll do wonders for you as well. And you just point it where it is now, and it's, I'm not sure exactly where in the water it is. You'll, you can look, uh, look online and you can see where it's located. And then, you know, look at a map from where you are to where it is. And, and point it there. If you have it on a fan, let it oscillate. Let it oscillate. Um, in the meantime, these energies that you're producing, you'll find that uh, you'll feel uplifted, you'll feel energized, you'll feel calm, uh, all of that. So it'll actually help your family uh, through the anxiety, particularly if you're anywhere close to where the storm is gonna hit. So that's, a, that's just a, a bonus. Um, well, I'm losing my voice, so uh, just do that. I might make another video if I think of more stuff. But anyway, so copper wires on the on your ceiling fans, your your record players, or your um, you know on a piece of cardboard. You know it's real thin. It's got it. You, you don't want it more than 1.6 millimeters thick. So a, a, a shoe box or some kind of box of that nature will give you some area to work with. Um, and uh, have at it, and oh, and just tight, with the cardboard, you can tighten it down. There should be a, an, outer, an outer contact area with the plastic knob that will allow you to, to secure it in place. Just get it really, really tight. And uh, hopefully it'll, it'll last through the night and, and the next day, and it may last a lot longer, I don't know. But in, in any case, you will have done a, a random act of kindness for an awful lot of people. You take care, and God bless. Oh, by the way, I have more information about all this stuff in my book, Is There a Question That Heals Instantly? You can I get that on Amazon. You take care, and God bless.